Intel decides that it's had enough of you, general consumers. It's time to appease the miners. AMD admits why the 6500 XT is so bad, and GPU loot boxes. Pay me a hundred bucks and maybe you'll get something newer than a GTX 900 series. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet. While you sit back, you relax, you enjoy that breakfast that you're having right now, okay? We're gonna start off today talking about Intel and their decision to pursue uh, what some would call a different mentality with regards to their consumers in what's coming out as Bonanza Mine. I love the name, by the way, okay? We can talk about the implications of Intel deciding to pursue miners, but Bonanza, heck yeah, sign me up. Day one, Bonanza Mine is a Bitcoin mining ASIC that Intel looks to be pursuing, which they're gonna unveil at the 2022 ISSCC conference which will be an ultra low voltage, energy efficient Bitcoin mining ASIC, which will hopefully potentially maybe somehow not make it so that people want to buy GPUs for mining. I don't know, but they're gonna have it with Bonanza Lake, which is their custom designed ASIC, not an FPGA, not a GPU that's being repurposed, but this is an actual Bitcoin mining ASIC that Intel looks to be getting into, which is really interesting that they're putting the time and R&D value into this, which is something that just kind of resonated across the internet since this got announced. Intel pursuing this idea of getting into this side of the market, something that has kind of remained untapped by the major players. Obviously, you have the companies like Bitmain that are purchasing up a lot of fab space at TSMC to produce their mining ASICs, but now Intel might be fabricating their own, whether or not this is gonna make the shortage worse because they're gonna take fab space for the Bitcoin mining ASIC, it's hard to say, but they've already got customers, baby. $3.3 billion crypto mining startup is Intel's first customer with securing some of those Bonanza Mine ASICs. The company Grid or Greed, double I would make the E sound in my imagination. So they're going to be called Greed in my book, uh, saying that they've entered into a definitive supply contract with Intel to provide ASICs that we expect to fuel our growth. The initial order will supply units to be delivered in 2020 and Greed will have access to a significant share of Intel's future production volume. So it does look like Intel is ripping and roaring when it comes to all of this Bitcoin mining ASIC stuff. I wanna hear from you. What do you think of this? What if Nvidia just started making mining ASICs? What if AMD started making mining ASICs? And they were like, you know what? This is where the profit is because these are just money printing machines. Why don't we just print money printing machines? <laughs> Maybe it only works out for Intel to do this because they own their own fab space and it wouldn't make as much sense for Nvidia and AMD to do it. But what do you think of big players deciding to enter into this space? Does it make it better because you trust Intel more than a company like Bitmain, who's not, you know, a US based company? Is that something that factors into how you would think about this? Let me know any and every and all of your thoughts down below in the comments. I want all of your thoughts, okay? I need to consume them to keep my energy up, which is how hot news keeps going. I feed off of you and I also feed off of the tech news that pops up, like Intel's Arc Alchemist drivers are showing up in their new media drivers that have been added to Linux. So these drivers for Intel's new GPUs, does this mean they're coming soon? Who knows? In case you haven't heard, Intel dropped every mention of Q1 2022 on the Arc Alchemist web pages. So we don't know if we're gonna get them by March. There's been some indication that there might be a delay. It's hard to say, but drivers popping up means drivers are popping up. Hopefully they're not as bad as they were for the DG one because oh boy when i play with the G dg1 it did not play back and a lot of people trying to play with the 6500 xt realizing that it's it's not very good and now we have some reports coming out from amd talking about specifically why it's not very good specifically it's that it was designed for a laptop which is kind of what the assumption was that the navi 24 was supposed to be part of the laptop and that's exactly why it doesn't have the feature sets that you were expecting to see because they were anticipating pairing navi 21 with Ryzen 6000 APUs, where the APUs have all of the encode and decode features, so you don't need it on the actual dedicated GPU, which is just like the don't release of Fidesta. Oh, I'm not gonna go to there, Brett. 
Brett, you need to get yourself together. Not going there, okay? But also reporting that when it comes to the 6500 XT, they realized that only half of their Radeon Pro users use only one monitor. So that's why Navi 24, which was not made for the general consumer, only has two display outputs. It's just, it's a weird card that probably shouldn't be going in your PC. It should be going in your laptop. 6500 XT based laptop, sure, get it. Give me the Rembrandt 6000 APU. But the problem here is is that those aren't out yet. The Rembrandt APUs aren't out yet. This new GPU is out. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. AMD's just stripping features and making it so that they're releasing doo-doo. That is my official estimation of the 6500 XT. GPU doo-doo. Mm -hmm. You're welcome for all of the hot takes. I hope you have a wonderful time and I hope you have a wonderful time talking about crypto stocks. Bitcoin! <laughs> Another rough day, down 3%. It had a surge, it went above 43, but now it's just, it's doo-doo in the bed, baby. $768 billion market cap, Ethereum also down 4%, finally under $3,000. This is the first time in a while that I've seen it under three grand. Ethereum not looking so hot. Dogecoin also down 4.5% to sit at 15.5 cents. Meme stocks having a bad day too, and GameStop closing down 3.66% to be at 102.67. AMC down 1.3% to be at 18.07. This is just gonna be my natural talking cadence for the rest of the episode. Probably not, cause I'm gonna grow old with it. Well, let's talk about how Twitter is making it so that NFT bros can show off those shiny digital beanie babies that everybody thinks are really cool. Okay, my friend has some beanie babies too. You're special, all right? This thing that's not very unique that you say is unique because somebody tweaked a banana in the monkey. I regret every word I just said. Anyways, Twitter bringing it so that you can get a special hexagonal profile picture if you have NFTs associated with your profile picture. Look at that! Woo! That makes me want to spend so much Ethereum on so many damn monkeys. Oh yeah, says the crypto bros. But just be warned that you do have to spend an additional $3 a month on Twitter Blue in order to get this because this is a Twitter Blue only feature. If you're a regular Twitter pleb who spent, you know, the half of your life savings on this monkey NFT, then you, you, you can't get this. You also have to pony up for the extra bucks, okay? This is, I mean, but this is the price you pay for not being able to fungish things, all right? You just, if you want to fund your token, you go elsewhere. These are non-funged and you can have a whole lot of funge with Google Play games on PC if you live in one of three countries that are currently beta testing Google Play games on Windows PCs. It's currently happening in Hong Kong, South Korea and Taiwan where you can get select titles on Windows. It's not fully rolled out. This is not the exact promise that Android has made for producing all of their software onto Windows PCs, but it's a start. It's happening. Betas, expansions, things coming soon and that's exactly what epic wants to happen them to come soon to a conclusion through the courts that apple was wrong because they laid out their arguments in the appeal in the ninth circuit court of appeals with regards to everything that went down with the epic versus apple saga and now actually putting out the arguments that hey apple's bad let us back on the app store. We need to make some money, please and thank you. And you know who's not making as much money right now? Peloton. It came out that they had to stop producing their bikes and treadmills and not because the treadmill is hurting people or killing children, but because nobody's buying them or at least in the volume that they expected according to the reports that there are warehouses and shipping containers full of these bad boys. So they have to stop producing them for several months in order to start selling through the stock because it's just a bad time. At the news, Peloton stock just uh, it, it took a tumble like a man falling on a treadmill. It's a spicy time for everybody. But while the employees of Peloton probably are wondering what their future is going to look like, the, the employees of Asus are saying, hey, we got we, we just got a we just got a pay bonus from crypto miners. Hell yeah! Give us all that crypto money. Asus reporting the fact that they are having a tremendous year, one of the best years that they've ever had, specifically thanks to uh, the graphics card mining fever that runs throughout the year, the price of the RTX 30 in RX 6000 series graphics cards that have doubled, and that the profit of graphics cards business has increased several times. So instead of gobbling up all of that money and being like, hey, Asus is now mega, mega powerful, what they're doing is they're giving out bonuses to their employees to the tune of two to three months pay, which seems 
like a good idea in my book. I've heard this sentiment expressed in the comments and I just wanna hear your thoughts on it. Several people have said, I would rather the companies like AMD, Nvidia, and you know, all the AIB partners to charge more because that means they're taking the profits as opposed to scalpers taking the profits. Does that sit right with you? Would you rather it is these nameless shareholded companies that like that you think you're friends with, but in reality will betray you for a biscuit? Uh, do you want them to have the profits or is it the nameless faceless scalpers who are potentially gonna slap you with the graphics card at your meeting spot and take your cash and keep the graphics card? I'm just, who do you want to have all of this unlimited money, huh? Huh? Well, I know who I want to give my unlimited money to, and that's the, the Amazon Japan, because they have GPU loot boxes, mystery boxes of GPUs that you can buy and get a chance to get a really high end graphics card. You want that 3080 tie? Oh, baby. You spend $100 on this loot box, you might be able to get it. You might also be able to get a GTX 1060 or you know a GTX 900 series GPU, but it's only 100 bucks and you could be you could be walking away with something that's really good. The odds of you getting something really good, not very high. 2% for the entire RTX 30 series or RX 6000 series. So that's the entire thing, not RTX 3090. You might be walking away with RTX 3050 for 100 bucks, which is still a pretty good deal. Only 2% chance, 4% chance of the 20 series or RX 5000 series. 8% chance of the 10 series or RX 500 series, which let's be honest, the best value GPU series ever existed. RX 580, GTX 1080 Ti, still going strong, going ham. I just, you know, you could also get an RX 550, 16% chance of the GeForce 9 series and RX 300 series. And then a 70% chance that you could be left with doo-doo, baby. You want a GTX 750 Ti for $100? Here you go, that's how you're gonna do it. Would you buy a GPU mystery box? I would for YouTube content. Content, but I want to hear what you guys think of it down below in those comments. And I'm going to comment that this episode of Hot News is over. We're done with the newsy news for the week. I'll be back on Monday to give you a spice of life for everything that we got going on in the tech news thing, world thing, that hot news thing we do here thing. I need a break. See you Monday.